Pakistan Tehreek Insaf, the party of former Prime Minister Imran Khan, will hold protest rallies worldwide on the one-year anniversary of his arrest. The party announced this week that protests will take place in Washington, Mississauga, Birmingham and in Sydney, Australia. In Pakistan, the party's main protest will take place in Swabi, in the province of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, as Pakistan's military government continues to deny it permission in the capital city of Islamabad. Mr Khan was arrested from his home in Lahore on August 5th and has been kept in solitary confinement ever since. Besides leaked pictures, he has not been seen in public since his arrest. Pakistan's military government deported British journalist Charles Glass on Wednesday after he attempted to visit arbitrarily arrested former Prime Minister Imran Khan, according to media reports. Glass, who is also a friend of Khan, arrived in Islamabad last week but was denied permission by the government to see Khan. He was detained by police from the house where he was staying and taken to an airport in Islamabad, local media reported. Pakistan's authoritarian military government controls the entire information space in the country. Previous interviews of Imran Khan, published in various international media outlets, were conducted secretly due to a ban imposed by military authorities who control Adiala jail where Mr Khan is being held. Pakistan's authoritarian government has yet to release Alia Hamza, the former member of parliament held illegally for over 15 months. A court granted her bail yesterday, but despite the completion of all legal formalities, the authorities continue to defy court orders. Police were stationed outside Gujranwala jail, indicating that she may be arrested once again. PTI's Punjab president, Dr. Yasmin Rashid, also arrested for 15 months, was rushed to a hospital as her health deteriorated earlier this week. Female supporters of Imran Khan's party have been specifically targeted in a bid to depoliticize them. Iran held funeral processions on Thursday amidst calls for revenge after the assassination of Hamas political chief Ismail Hania in a strike in Tehran by Israel. The Islamic Republic's supreme leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei led prayers for Hania ahead of his burial in Qatar, having earlier threatened a court harsh punishment on court for his killing. Khamenei, who has the final say in Iran's political affairs, said after Hania's death that it was, quote, our duty to seek revenge for his blood as he was martyred in the territory of the Islamic Republic of Iran, unquote. In the capital city centre, thousands of mourners carrying posters of Hania and the Palestinian flags gathered for the ceremony at Tehran University. The occupational Israeli forces have killed at least 39,480 people since October 7th.